In this video I will discuss the general theme of cultivating resilience through Stoic philosophy we will explore how the story teachings particularly those of Marcus Aurelius can help us navigate and overcome the challenges and obstacles we face in life by adopting a Stoic mindset. We can learn to detach ourselves from external judgments handle disrespect with grace and maintain our inner tranquility I will delve into 10 Stoic lessons inspired by Marcus Aurelius that can guide us in dealing with disrespect these lessons will emphasize the importance of focusing on our character, practicing empathy maintaining self-respect and responding with kindness and respect. By applying these Stoic principles we can develop resilience grow as individuals and find peace amidst the turmoil of disrespect be a strong Stoic and watch to the end lesson 1. Welcome to Overworld Subscribe Overworld YouTube Channel. Lesson 1. Recognizing that disrespect is external and not a reflection of your own worth. In the philosophy of Stoicism one of the core principles is understanding that our worth as individuals is not determined by external factors including the opinions or judgments of others Marcus Aurelius a prominent Stoic. Philosopher and Roman Emperor repeatedly emphasizes the importance of recognizing that the opinion of others is not our concern disrespect can often be hurtful and challenging to deal with as it may feel like a personal attack on our character or abilities. However Stoicism teaches us to adopt a different perspective instead of internalizing the disrespect and allowing it to affect our self-worth we are encouraged to view it as an external judgment that does not define us imagine. A situation where you have put in a lot of effort into a project or task only to have someone disrespectfully dismiss your work it's natural to feel hurt or frustrated in such a situation however. By practicing stoicism you can shift your focus from seeking validation to recognizing your own intrinsic value remember the opinions of others are subjective and can be influenced by various factors such as personal biases, jealousy or their own insecurities their disrespect says more about them than it. Does about you by understanding this you can detach yourself from the negative impact of their opinions. For instance let's say you are a writer and have published a book despite positive feedback from readers someone. Criticizes your work harshly questioning your writing abilities instead of allowing their disrespect to undermine. Your confidence remind yourself that their judgment is merely one person's opinion among many your worth as a. Writer is not contingent upon their judgment alone moreover Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control while we cannot control how others perceive or treat us. We have complete control over our own thoughts actions and responses by shifting our attention towards our own character and principles we can build a solid foundation of self-worth rather than seeking external validation Stoicism teaches us to prioritize living. According to our own values and principles Marcus Aurelius reminds us that the true worth of a person is measured by the good they do therefore instead of allowing disrespect to diminish our self-worth we can redirect our energy towards being virtuous compassionate and contributing positively to the world. In summary recognizing that disrespect is external is an essential stoic lesson. By understanding that it is not a reflection of our own worth we can detach ourselves from the negative impact of others' opinion Stoicism teaches us to focus on our character principles and the intrinsic value we bring to the world by doing so we can maintain our self-worth navigate disrespect with grace and continue to grow as individual remember the opinion of others is not your concern. Stay stoic and hold on to your own sense of worth till the end lesson 2. Lesson 2. Focusing on your character rather than seeking validation from others in Stoicism the emphasis is placed on developing and nurturing our own character rather than relying on external validation for our sense of self-worth Marcus Aurelius a prominent Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor reminds us that the true measure of a person's worth lies in the good they do when we seek validation or approval from others we become dependent on their opinions and judgments this can lead to Fluctuations in our self-esteem and a sense of insecurity Stoicism offers an alternative approach by encouraging us to place our focus on building our character and living in accordance with our own principles imagine a scenario where you are working on a project or pursuing a passion and 
You encounter someone who disrespects or belittles your efforts it is natural to feel discouraged or doubt your abilities. In such a situation however by practicing stoicism you can shift your attention from seeking external validation to cultivating your own virtues and principles rather than allowing the disrespect to undermine. Your sense of self-worth remind yourself of the qualities that you value and strive to embody for example if you are passionate about writing focus on developing your skills expressing your unique perspective and creating meaningful content by aligning your actions with your principles you create a sense of purpose and fulfillment that is independent of external validation. Stoicism teaches us to prioritize the cultivation of virtues such as wisdom. Courage, justice and compassion these virtues are within our control and can be developed through conscious effort by placing our focus on embodying these virtues we become less reliant on the opinions of others and more grounded in our own sense of self-worth moreover. Stoicism encourages us to take responsibility for our own actions and choices by focusing on our character we acknowledge that our worth is not determined solely by external factors but by the integrity and moral choices. We make this means being true to ourselves and living in alignment with our own values regardless of how others perceive or judge us for instance let's say you have a passion for painting and someone criticizes your artwork. Questioning your talent instead of allowing their disrespect to deter you focus on the growth and improvement you can achieve through your artistic journey embrace the process of learning experimenting and expressing yourself. Through your art by nurturing your own character and embracing your passion you can find fulfillment and satisfaction irrespective of external validation in. Summary focusing on your character rather than seeking validation from others is a crucial stoic lesson by prioritizing the development of virtues and living in accordance with your own principles you can nurture a sense of self-worth that is independent of external opinions remember the true measure of your worth lies in the good you do in the virtues you embody stay stoic and continue to build your character till the end lesson free practice empathy disrespect often stems lesson three from the insecurities and struggles of others by practicing empathy we can gain a better understanding of the pain and challenges that might be driving someone's disrespectful behavior this understanding allows us to respond with compassion rather than reacting with anger or frustration empathy is the ability to put ourselves in someone else's shoes to see the world through their eyes and to connect with their emotions it is the practice of recognizing and acknowledging the humanity in others even when they are behaving disrespectfully towards us when we encounter disrespect our natural inclination may be to retaliate or defend ourselves however stoic philosophy teaches us to rise above such impulses and respond with kindness and understanding by doing so we not only maintain our own inner peace but also have the potential to positively influence the person who is Disrespecting us to illustrate the power of empathy let's consider an example imagine you are working on a group project and one of your teammates consistently undermines your ideas and questions your abilities. Their disrespectful behavior is demoralizing and makes you feel undervalued instead of confronting them. With anger or withdrawing from the situation you decide to practice empathy. You reflect on the fact that everyone has their own insecurities and struggles perhaps your teammate feels threatened by your expertise and is trying to assert their own value recognizing this you choose to approach the situation. With understanding you take the time to listen to their perspective validate their contributions and offer assistance. When needed by showing empathy you create an opportunity for a more productive and respectful collaboration. Practicing empathy in the face of disrespect not only benefits the other person but also enhances our own growth. And resilience it allows us to break the cycle of negativity and maintain our integrity by responding with compassion. We show that we refuse to be dragged into a spiral of negativity and instead choose to rise above it. It's important to note that practicing empathy does not mean accepting or condoning disrespectful behavior. It means responding to disrespect with understanding and kindness while also setting boundaries and asserting our self-respect stoic philosophy teaches us to focus on what is within our control our own actions and reactions rather than getting entangled in the uncontrollable actions of others by cultivating empathy we not only foster 
better relationships but also contribute to a more compassionate and understanding world through empathy we can build bridges of connection diffuse conflicts and inspire positive change in summary practicing empathy when faced with disrespect is a powerful stoic lesson it allows us to understand the struggles and insecurities that may be driving someone's disrespectful behavior by responding with compassion and Kindness we maintain our own inner peace and have the potential to influence others positively. Practicing empathy aligns with the stoic principle of focusing on what is within our control and helps us navigate. Challenging situations with grace and resilience Lesson 4 Cultivate Inner Lesson 4. Tranquility in the face of disrespect It is natural to feel a surge of anger or frustration however stoicism teaches us that our emotions are within our control and it is up to us to choose how we respond to external events Marcus Aurelius in his meditations reminds us you have power over your mind not outside events this means that we have the ability to cultivate inner tranquility despite the disrespect we encounter to cultivate inner tranquility we must first understand that disrespect from others is often a reflection of their own insecurities and struggles it is not a true measure of our worth or character by recognizing this we can detach ourselves from the negative emotions that disrespect may evoke within us we can choose not to let the disrespectful behavior of others affect our inner peace one way to cultivate inner tranquility is through mindful breathing and meditation when faced with disrespect take a moment to pause and take a few deep breaths allow yourself to observe the disrespectful behavior without immediately reacting to it by Doing so you create a space between the external event and your response enabling you to choose a more calm and reasoned reaction another technique is reframing the situation instead of viewing disrespect as a personal attack see it as an opportunity for growth and self-improvement remember the stoic principle of a more fatty the acceptance of all that happens including disrespect embrace the challenge and see it as a Chance to strengthen your character and resilience practicing gratitude is also an effective way to cultivate inner tranquility when faced with disrespect take a moment to reflect on the things you are grateful for in your life this shift in focus redirects your attention away from the negativity and helps you maintain a peaceful mindset moreover stoicism encourages us to adopt a Broader perspective Marcus Aurelius reminds us of the transient nature of external events and opinions. Everything is ephemeral with what remembers and what is being remembered by reminding ourselves of the impermanence of disrespect we can detach ourselves from its power and maintain our inner peace it is important to note. That cultivating inner tranquility does not mean suppressing or denying our emotion stoicism encourages acknowledging and Understanding our emotions but not letting them dictate our actions by practicing mindfulness reframing. Situations practicing gratitude and embracing a broader perspective we can find a sense of calm amidst disrespect. Stoicism teaches us that true strength lies in our ability to control our reactions and maintain our composure in the face of adversity by cultivating inner tranquility we Become resilient and unshaken by the disrespectful actions of others we learn to respond with wisdom kindness and respect rather than succumbing to anger or negativity so I encourage you to stay stoic and watch this video till the end as we delve further into these stoic lessons on handling disrespect by implementing these principles in your life you can find inner tranquility maintain your integrity and navigate the challenges. That come your way with grace and resilience Lesson 5 Maintain Self-Respect 1 of Lesson 5 The fundamental teachings of Stoicism is the importance of maintaining self-respect regardless of external circumstances or opinion Stoics understand that our worth does not rely on the validation or approval of others but rather on our own actions and adherence to our principles when faced with disrespect it is natural to feel hurt angry or even tempted to retaliate however stoicism encourages us to rise above such reactions and instead focus on preserving our own self-respect by doing so we retain our integrity and uphold our values regardless of how others treat us marcus aurelius in his meditations emphasizes the significance of self-respect he writes the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your Thoughts therefore guard accordingly and take care that you entertain no notions unsuitable to virtue and reasonable. 
Nature this reminds us that our thoughts and actions should align with our own sense of virtue regardless of external. Circumstances maintaining self-respect in the face of disrespect requires understanding and accepting that we cannot control how others treat us Marcus Aurelius advises you have power over your mind not outside events realize this and you will find strength stoic recognize that our power lies in our response to external events not in trying to control them to maintain self-respect it is crucial to stay true to our principles and not compromise our values simply to seek validation or acceptance from others the Stoics believe that living a virtuous life is its own reward and external validation. Should not be the primary goal Epictetus another influential Stoic philosopher. Reminds us that no man is free who is not master of himself this implies that our freedom and self-respect come from. Within independent of how others perceive or treat us when faced with. Disrespect it is important to remember that the opinions of others do not define our worth we must cultivate a strong sense of self and a clear understanding of our values allowing us to navigate through disrespectful situations with grace and dignity for instance let's say you encounter someone who belittles your career choices. Instead of feeling diminished or questioning your decisions remind yourself of the reasons behind your Choices and the satisfaction you derive from your work recognize that their disrespect stems from their own limited perspective or insecurities and it does not diminish the value you find in your chosen path maintaining self-respect. Also involves setting healthy boundaries Stoics believe that we should not allow the actions or opinions of others to affect our inner tranquility by establishing boundaries we protect our Inner tranquility by establishing boundaries we protect ourselves from being easily swayed by external judgment. If someone consistently disrespects you it may be necessary to distance yourself from that person or limit your interactions with them in order to maintain your self-respect and emotional well-being in the face of disrespect. Stoicism encourages us to respond with dignity and kindness rather than Reacting impulsively or seeking revenge by responding calmly and respectfully we demonstrate our strength of character and refuse to be dragged into negative behavior this does not mean we condone disrespect but rather that we choose to rise above it and maintain our own moral compass in conclusion maintaining self-respect is a vital aspect of stoic philosophy by recognizing that our worth comes from within and does not depend on external validation we can navigate disrespect with grace and integrity. Stoicism teaches us to focus on our own actions adhere to our principles and respond to disrespect with kindness and respect by nurturing our self-respect we uphold our values and find inner tranquility amidst the challenges of life lesson 6 seek wisdom in criticism. Lesson 6 Criticism ISM despite its initial stain can be a valuable tool for self-reflection and personal development Marcus Aurelius in his meditations wrote. The best way to avenge yourself is to not become like that person this advice aligns with the stoic principle of responding to negativity with wisdom and virtue when faced with disrespectful criticism it is essential to separate. The delivery of the message from its content instead of allowing ourselves to be consumed by anger or hurt we can. Choose to focus on the underlying message and seek the wisdom it may hold this requires a level of emotional detachment and objective analysis to effectively extract wisdom from. Criticism we can follow these steps 1. Maintain composure Take a moment to Pause and regain your composure Remind yourself that you have control over your emotional response this will allow you. To approach the criticism with a calm and rational mindset too. Separate the delivery from the content disrespectful criticism often comes wrapped in hostility or rudeness in. Order to extract value from the message detach yourself from the emotional tone and focus solely on the substance of the. Critique 3 Analyze the content objectively look beyond the. Disrespectful language or manner in which the criticism was delivered seek to understand the core message being. Conveyed are there valid points or areas for improvement highlighted is there an opportunity to learn something valuable. 4. Embrace a growth mindset Adopt a growth mindset that gives criticism as an opportunity for growth rather than a personal attack remember that even the most accomplished individuals have room for improvement by embracing constructive criticism we can identify areas that need attention and 
Take steps to enhance our skills or behavior 5. Filter the criticism Evaluate the criticism with discernment Not all criticism is constructive or accurate especially when delivered disrespectfully consider the source their intentions and whether the feedback aligns with your core values and goal discard baseless or malicious criticism that does not contribute to your growth 6. Implement changes once you have extracted value from the criticism take. Action to implement the necessary changes use the insights gained to improve your skills behavior or approach. Remember that stoicism is not just about intellectual understanding but also about putting principles into practice. By seeking wisdom in criticism we demonstrate strength of character and the willingness to learn and grow. This stoic perspective allows us to transform disrespectful criticism into an opportunity for personal development it enables us to rise above negativity and use it as fuel for self-improvement. It is important to note that not all criticism deserves our attention or consideration stoicism teaches us to discern between constructive feedback and baseless negativity we should focus on the former as it provides an opportunity for growth while Disregarding the latter to maintain our inner peace and self-worth in conclusion seeking wisdom and criticism is a powerful stoic lesson that enables us to grow and develop as individuals by separating the delivery from the content. Analyzing the message objectively and embracing a growth mindset we can extract valuable insights even from disrespectful criticism this approach aligns with the stoic philosophy of Responding to adversity with wisdom and virtue and it empowers us to use critic as a catalyst for personal growth by staying stoic and open-minded we can learn from every experience including disrespectful criticism and continue on. Our journey towards wisdom and self-improvement Lesson 7 Practice Detachment Stoicism teaches us that we Lesson 7 Should not be overly concerned with external opinions and judgments because they are beyond our control this Includes the disrespect we may encounter from others Marcus Aurelius in his meditations reminds us that you have power over your mind not outside events this philosophy encourages us to detach ourselves from the need for approval as it can lead to unnecessary suffering and frustration when we encounter disrespect. Our initial instinct might be to react defensively or retaliate however by Practicing detachment we can choose a wiser and more stoic response detachment does not mean ignoring or suppressing our emotions rather it involves recognizing that we have the power to choose how we respond to practice detachment in the face of disrespect we can start by shifting our focus inward instead of relying on external validation we can cultivate self-worth and confidence from within. This involves being aware of our own values principles and actions in aligning them with our authentic selves. By doing so we build a solid foundation of self-respect that is not easily shaken by outside judgment detachment also requires us to remind ourselves that we cannot control how others perceive or treat us we should not allow their disrespect to define us or affect our sense of work we can choose to let go of the need for approval and Acceptance from others understanding that their opinions are subjective and often influenced by their own biases and insecurities a helpful practice in cultivating detachment is to develop a sense of perspective in the grand scheme of things the disrespectful behavior of others is often insignificant Marcus Aurelius reminds us everything is ephemeral. Both what remembers and what is being remembered by recognizing the impermanence of disrespect we can avoid. Attaching too much importance or significance to it this perspective allows us to focus on what truly matters. In our lives such as personal growth, meaningful relationships and pursuing our goals. Furthermore practicing detachment can help us respond to disrespect with grace. And composure instead of reacting impulsively or defensively we can choose. To respond calmly and respectfully this does not mean that we condone or accept disrespectful behavior but rather that. We refuse to let it affect our own behavior and integrity by responding with kindness and respect we demonstrate. Our inner strength and character regardless of how others may treat us stoicism teaches us that our happiness and well-being should not be dependent on external circumstances or the opinions of others. By practicing detachment we free ourselves from the burden of seeking validation and approval from outside. 
sources we learn to rely on our own values principles and inner peace to navigate the challenges and disrespect that life may throw our way in conclusion detachment is a vital stoic lesson when it comes to handling disrespect by practicing detachment we can maintain our inner tranquility and respond to disrespect in a measured and stoic manner it allows us to detach ourselves from external opinions focus on our own character and values and respond with kindness and respect by staying stoic and embracing detachment. We can navigate through disrespect with grace preserve our inner peace and ultimately lead a more fulfilling and resilient life lesson 8 respond with kindness and lesson 8 respect in the face of disrespect responding with kindness and respect is a powerful way to maintain your integrity diffuse tense situations and uphold your stoic principles it's Important to remember that your reactions are within your control and by choosing to respond with grace you not only show strength of character but also prevent the situation from escalating further when someone disrespects you. It's natural to feel hurt angry or defensive however stoicism teaches us to rise above these initial emotions and respond in a manner aligned with our values instead of retaliating with insults or Aggression choose to respond calmly respectfully and with empathy firstly. Responding with kindness can help de-escalate the situation when faced with disrespect responding in. A calm and composed manner can diffuse tension and prevent the situation from spiraling into a heated argument or confrontation by choosing not to match disrespect with disrespect you demonstrate emotional maturity and Self-control Secondly responding with respect even in the face of disrespect allows you to maintain your own integrity Stoicism emphasizes the importance of staying true to your principles. Regardless of how others behave by responding respectfully you demonstrate that you refuse to be dragged into negative behavior and that your self-worth is not dependent on the opinions of others moreover responding. With kindness and respect can also lead to a more positive outcome in the long run it opens up the possibility of constructive dialogue and understanding by approaching the situation with respect you may encourage the other person to reconsider their disrespectful behavior or even prompt them to reflect on their actions this can foster a more productive and harmonious relationship or at the very least prevent the Situation from worsening it's worth noting that responding with kindness and respect does not mean accepting or tolerating ongoing disrespect about setting boundaries and standing up for yourself assertively but without resorting to rudeness or aggression by maintaining your composure and responding respectfully you communicate that you will not allow disrespectful behavior to define or control you practicing this stoic lesson may not. Always be easy especially when emotions are running high it requires self-awareness emotional regulation and a commitment to personal growth here are a few practical steps to help you respond with kindness and respect on. Take a deep breath before responding take a moment to ground yourself and regain your composure this can help prevent impulsive reactions driven by anger or her too. Empathize. Try to understand the perspective or underlying motivations of the person disrespecting you by considering their point of view you may find it easier to respond with empathy and kindness. 3. Choose your words carefully respond in a calm and measured tone choosing words that express your thoughts clearly and respectfully avoid personal attacks or defensive language for maintain open body language nonverbal cues play a significant role. In communication maintain open and relaxed body language to show that you are receptive to a constructive. Conversation 5. Set boundaries if necessary if the disrespect continues or becomes harmful assertively communicate your boundaries and make it clear that such behavior is non-acceptable remember. The goal is not to win an argument or prove your superiority but to maintain. Your own inner peace and integrity by responding with kindness and respect you embody the principles of stoicism and demonstrate strength of character in the face of disrespect lesson 9 focus lesson 9 on your goals Marcus Aurelius the Roman emperor and stoic philosopher wrote extensively about the significance of focusing on our goals in his personal journal known as meditations he believed that life is too short to be wasted on distractions or external judgments instead he encouraged 
individuals to concentrate on their own path and pursue their objectives with dedication and seriousness when someone disrespects us it can be easy to get caught up in negative emotions and lose sight of our goals we might feel the urge to retaliate or seek validation from others however stoicism teaches us to detach ourselves from external opinions and remain focused on our own growth and development one way to implement the stoic lesson is by practicing what marcus aurelius referred to as the discipline of perception this involves reframing our perspective and recognizing that the disrespect we encounter is often a reflection of the other person's insecurities or issues rather than a true judgment of our worth by reminding ourselves of this we can maintain our composure preserve our self-respect and stay dedicated to our goals focusing on our goals also means directing our attention and efforts towards what we can control stoicism emphasizes that we have power over our thoughts actions and attitudes but not over external events or the opinions of others therefore it is crucial to channel our energy into areas where we can make a difference we can choose to respond to disrespect with kindness respect and dignity understanding that our own character is more important than fleeting judgment marcus aurelius believed in the value of living in alignment with our values and principles by focusing on our goals we prioritize our personal growth and the pursuit of Virtue we understand that external recognition or approval is secondary to the development of our own character. This mindset allows us to persevere in the face of disrespect criticism or setbacks without being swayed from our chosen path furthermore staying focused. On our goals helps us maintain a sense of purpose and meaning when we have a clear vision of what we want to achieve we are less likely to be derailed by the opinions or actions of others we become resilient and determined able to overcome obstacles and stay committed to our chosen course regardless of external circumstances. To embody this stoic lesson it is essential to regularly reflect on our goals and remind ourselves why they matter to us this could involve setting aside time for introspection journaling, or visualizing our desired outcome by keeping our goals at the forefront of our minds we can stay motivated and centered even in the face of disrespect in conclusion focusing on our goals is a powerful stoic lesson that can help us navigate disrespect with resilience and grace by detaching ourselves from external judgments redirecting our attention to what truly matters and staying dedicated to our personal growth we can maintain our composure preserve our self-respect and continue moving Forward remember as you watch this video to embrace the Stoic teachings stay focused on your goals and find inspiration in the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius Lesson 10 Remember the Lesson 10 Impermanence of disrespect Disrespect can be hurtful and challenging to deal with but it is essential to remember that disrespect like all things in life is impermanent it is a transient experience that will eventually pass and its impact on our lives will diminish this stoic lesson encourages us to maintain a broader perspective and not let the negativity of disrespect consumers marcus aurelius and his meditations reminds us of the ephemeral nature of everything he wrote everything is ephemeral both what remembers and what is being remembered this powerful statement serves as a reminder that disrespect just like any other external Event is temporary and fleeting it may sting in the moment but it does not define us or our worth in the long run. Understanding the impermanence of disrespect is crucial for maintaining our inner peace and emotional well-being. When we internalize this stoid principle we can view disrespectful acts as passing clouds in the sky rather than allowing them to cast a shadow over our lives we can choose not to dwell on them or let them affect our self-esteem and confidence by recognizing the impermanence of disrespect we can adopt. A more stoic mindset we accept that we cannot control how others perceive or treat us but we have complete control over our own reactions and emotion stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control and not waste energy on things beyond our influence when Faced with disrespect it is essential to separate ourselves from the situation and take a step back we can remind ourselves that this disrespectful act or comment is temporary and will not have a lasting impact on our lives unless we allow it to by maintaining this perspective we prevent ourselves from getting caught up in a cycle of negativity and resentment moreover understanding the impermanence of 
Disrespect allows us to respond with grace and dignity instead of reacting impulsively or seeking revenge we can. Choose to respond calmly and thoughtfully we can remind ourselves that engaging in a heated exchange or seeking retribution will only prolong the negative effects of disrespect by staying stoic and composed we maintain our integrity and show that we refuse to be dragged into negativity additionally this stoic lesson encourages us to focus on our own growth and development rather than dwelling on disrespectful acts we can channel our energy into pursuing our goals practicing self-improvement and nurturing positive relationships by doing so we shift our attention away from the transient negativity of disrespect and towards meaningful endeavors that contribute to our overall well-being in conclusion the stoic lesson of remembering the impermanence of disrespect empowers us to maintain our inner peace and emotional resilience by understanding that disrespect is a fleeting experience we can adopt a stoic mindset respond with grace and focus on our personal growth this perspective allows us to navigate the challenges of disrespect with wisdom and composure ensuring that it does not define us or hinder our progress on the path of virtue so let us stay stoic watch till the end and discover how we can rise above disrespect and cultivate a resilient mindset.